Hi, I'm Bob Vila. Welcome to this old house. As you can see, work is underway. In this program, we're going to be looking at some of the exterior repairs that have to be made, as well as listening to an energy audit, looking at some interior demolition, and discussing our kitchen plans, which we haven't really made yet. First, let's go up and talk with Norm Abram. Our head carpenter up here, who's already tackling some of the problems we uh, looked at earlier. Rot. Hi, Norm. Hi, Bob. Wonder if you can talk with us for just a minute. Want to get a closer look at the eaves up here. Sure. And see how bad things really are. What have you found so far? Well, basically we found a lot of rot. Yes. And that's caused the majority of the problems. You've taken the gutter off and you've taken the fascia board off. Right, and the yeah. plancher boards and all these blocks. And uh, we found that the way the gutter was installed, that it uh, caused a lot of problems. It let water right into the house. It allowed the water to get in behind it, you mean? Right. I can show you here. We had a, they used a, three pieces of wood to put a fascia board on, basically. Yeah. They nailed a piece of gutter on the rafter ends. They put a small piece of wood above and below. So anytime the gutter filled up with water, it just ran inside so the, the house. So the old timers didn't always build it better. Then the correct way would be what? One board? The correct way is to put one board and then put the gutter on after. Uh -huh. And there's no way that the water can get inside the soffit area. Yeah, we do have a lot of rock there. What about all these brackets? Uh, well, these brackets are damaged also by the water getting into the soffit. And I have one here that is a pretty good example of what it is. Yeah. You can see it's all rotted in this area. So, what do you suppose it would cost to replace those? Can, can a mill make them up? Well, a mill could make these up, but it would probably cost you about thirty-five, forty dollars a piece. And we must have yeah, forty or fifty of them. Right. That's out. Can we repair them? Well, we thought possibly we could cut this off here, which yeah. would remove most of the uh, rotten wood, and then laminate another piece back on. That would save the top. But also, we're running into a problem here. Right at the These end of it here. These break off yeah. when they're installed, so when we take them off. Yeah. So we thought possibly of cutting them off here, putting them on the house without this piece on. Yeah, yeah. And that might look okay. But too. a little bit of trim instead, uh, instead of spending 40 bucks a piece on them, and we'd still retain the look of it. It would be a much better option. seems like a better idea. What about our shingles? Oh, uh, the shingles are they're very brittle right and old. And yeah. there's two layers on the roof. Uh huh. And also, uh, as we have rotting here, the boards on the edge of the roof are in the same condition. The sheathing underneath it. Right. Do you think we'll have to totally resheathe the roof? Or? No, we won't. We, in most cases, it's just the boards near the edge of the roof that are mm -hmm. in the worst condition. Norm, give me an idea of time. It's you and how many helpers? Two helpers. So three men. It'd how long would it take to do the repairs on one side of the house? Oh, about two to three days. Three days. To replace the trim and strip the roof and re-shingle it again. That's encouraging. Well, you've got your work cut out for you, and it's a little bit cold for me out here, Norm, okay. so I'll let you get back to it.